grace of Jesus. It is only Jesus. We need to put up only Jesus, not ourselves. And as I said before, Moses and Elijah appeared. Moses repre represents the completion of the law. Elijah represents the completion of the prophets. And Matthew chapter 12, chapter 11, verse 13, it says, For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John, and if you, will, if you are willing to accept it, John himself is Elijah who, has, who was to come. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. And all the law were to be terminated at, at John. And John was Elijah. In Malachi chapter 4 verses 5 and 6 prophesied that Elijah would come. And that was referring to John the Baptist. Luke chapter 1 verses 16 and 17 John the Baptist came with the power and the spirit of Elijah. God himself said that. And God said that as soon as John was born. And only John the Baptist knew. John the Baptist, the son of Zacharias, knew. But nobody believed that he was Elijah. There were 24,000 priests and, and religious leaders during that time, like pastors. Out of the 24,000 religious leaders, not even one person realized that John the Baptist was Elijah. And they only thought of him as John, the son of Zacharias. And when Jesus' disciples were pro proclaiming and, and evangelizing, saying, Jesus, the Son of Man, Jesus, the Messiah came, they said, hey, don't, that is nonsense, because... Elijah was supposed to come first. And the disciples came back to Jesus and asked them, Jesus, they say that Elijah was supposed to come first. Who is Elijah? And Jesus said, that was John the Baptist. Matthew chapter 17 verse 10 and the following tells us in, I mean, in today's passage, Matthew chapter 17, and he, Jesus says, And in chapter seven, in Matthew chapter eleven, we read. Matthew chapter eleven, verse thirteen, in the in the Common Bible translation, it is, it says. All the law and the prophecies ended with John. Ended with John, and if you are to are willing to accept this prophecy, the Elijah that was to come again is John himself. And those who have ears to hear, people who have ears to hear, realize this, understand this. Beloved believers, this is like a riddle. I mean, he was John, a son, the son of Zacharias. But God said, that is not the son of Zacharias. Malachi chapter 4 verses 5 and 6 tells us that Elijah was supposed to come. John is him. John is Elijah that was supposed to come. And, and Peter said that he would put up a tent, tabernacle, for Jesus and Moses and Elijah. And but in Luke it says that after saying that he didn't he re, he didn't remember that he said that too. And look at Jesus, look at Peter. He said, "For the Lord, for Moses, for Elijah, I'll set up three tabernacles." And but when Jesus saw his heart, he didn't even realize what he said. He didn't even remember what he said. He didn't really mean it from his heart. He just he was just saying it with his mouth, with his lips. How pathetic that is. Mark chapter. 9 verse 6. He didn't realize what he said. He said it, but the one, he, the one who said it didn't realize what he said. It says, For he did not know what to answer, for he, they became terrified. And he said it, and he forgot it. 
He, he didn't even realize, remember what he said. In the Bible, we have to read carefully. And he didn't even realize what he said. Same thing with us. When we say, Oh Lord, I believe. Then we have to believe. But we, we commit sin and when we get inspired by the, by the sermon, we say, Lord, I believe. But when we walk outside the church, we cannot believe. And I, we, do the, we do the things that are worse than the, the things that non-believers do. And how pathetic that is. And the, so the attitude of Peter here was, to, was, a, it was, it was, a, it was an attitude of trying to find joy and trying to find satisfaction and comfort without working hard. He was just wanted to gain this comfort, an easy comfort, without having to work. And he wanted to hold on to the glory of heaven without the sufferings of this earth. And it was a wrong attitude to, to think about ha serving the Lord here comfortably. And as soon as that happened, the bright cloud overshadowed them, shadowed them. And in the midst of the cloud, he, they heard the voice, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to Him. He said, It is my beloved Son, my chosen Son. And so, all you have to do is to listen to only Jesus. And the voice, this is the same voice that came, up, came down from heaven when Jesus was being baptized by John the Baptist. When Jesus was being baptized by John the Baptist in the Jordan River, same voice came out from heaven. And right before the cross, right before the crucifixion, same voice came out. And they heard the same voice. And so, beginning and the end was being completed as the Lord of Atonement, lo the Lord of Redemption. And so, believers, Jesus, is a, Jesus has perfect humanity and perfect divinity. How can He call His own mother woman? And we cannot misunderstand this. I mean, can you can you call your mom, your mother who is 70 or 80 years old? Hey, woman, bring me some water. If we do it, we deserve to be to be killed for dishonoring our parents. But Jesus called him his mother woman. I mean, Jesus never went to school, right? And so they thought he was he was illiterate and he was unlearned. And on the cross. And they thought that Jesus was calling his mother woman because he was not educated correctly. But Jesus, well, on the cross, the reason why he called, him, called her woman is because she, even although she is the mother that gave birth to Jesus, she needs to believe in Jesus as God in order to receive salvation. That's what he meant when he called, him, called her woman. Only Jesus is God. We are all sons and daughters of Adam. And according to the Greek language, euthokio, you, 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 you meaning Jesus was so pleased, Jesus was well pleasing to God. From, from the top of the head to the bottom of the feet, even the hair, there is nothing lacking in Jesus. And in Greek, it means he was well, so pleased. When we see a beautiful baby, we love them so much, we just tremble and shake. Why? Because Jesus was, Jesus was obeying from the beginning to the end. Jesus said, Amen for everything. As, as long as it's the words from Father. And, and that's why John chapter 15, Jesus said, I believe that the word of the Father is eternal life. 
And when the father said, John chapter, sorry, 15, uh, not 15 verse, but chapter 12, to uh, obedience to the end. Philippians chapter 2, verse 5 and the following also. Don't forget. And God was so pleased. Even when the Father said, go to the cross, Jesus considered it as eternal life because it's the word of the Father. Matthew chapter 15, at uh, chapter 17, verse 5 and the following. We see God, the Father, telling the disciples to listen to Jesus. This is a command given to us today too. Just listen to my Son, Jesus only and you have you have to realize and live your life to listen to Jesus so that, so so to obey the word of the father and how can you listen to Jesus' wo wo voice how can we obey this word of the bible is the word of Jesus and through this we can we can find out through this bible we found out about Abraham Isaac and so on about Jesus Without this Bible, we cannot know about him. And so he says to listen to him. And Moses said, there will come a prophet like me. And you have to listen to him. And Moses already real, uh, knew that about 1600 years later, Jesus would appear like a prophet. And early on, Deuteronomy chapter 18 verse 15, and verses 18 and 19 clearly prophesied through Moses and this is fulfilled in John chapter 1 and Acts chapter 3 like like buttons go go together it, it came together and so we have to believe in the words of Jesus without leaving anything out and so when he said listen to Jesus did you read the word Revelation chapter 1 verse 3, those who read the Bible and those who listen and keep the Word of God will be blessed. You will be blessed just by reading the Word. And when you listen to it, when you keep it, you have even greater blessings. And so, until today we didn't read the Bible, just, just empty. We learn about, we believe in Jesus that we heard about, we learned about. But... When we have, when we believe in Jesus, there's so many testimonies and witnesses. Do you have them? Do you have those experiences? When a person gives to you a gift, you have a, you have a, you are certain that you have received. But First John chapter one verses eight and nine tells us that what God gives you is more clear, more certain, and so we need to have that kind of assurance in believing in God and believing in Jesus, but we only believe in Jesus that we learned about, we heard about. It, when, we, when we sing hymns, we say, there is great assurance in believing in Jesus. What kind of, assur uh, of assurance do you have? If you have that much assurance, what, what you show in your actions, is that all? Um, among our believers, is there any family that worships God every day in your family? Do you gather your children to pray with them? To worship with them? And when they opened their eyes, they saw that there was only Jesus, no one else. And when we go to churches, when we go to other people's houses, we see a plaque saying, only Jesus. That's Matthew chapter 17 verse 8 they saw no one except Jesus himself alone only Jesus Je Jesus alone only when we give offering only Jesus has to be seen only when we buy food for other people only Jesus has to be seen and I have to give with a heart of thanksgiving for God has given us everything all the David said all everything that was given to him was from God. First Chronicles chapter twenty nine, and we see David making that confession before he died. And so, in our lives, in our individuals, families, our businesses, our work, even when we meet with our friends, we have to only make Jesus be seen, not ourselves. 
Oh, I probably bought him, treated him to a meal about ten times, but he didn't even buy me a bowl of noodles. And we should not think like that. That moment, we're putting ourselves up. And so, and, and uh, King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon, because he put himself be seen, he, he put himself up, he, was, he perished, and we have to realize that. Please believe that Jesus is right by you. Only Jesus. And the followers of Jesus, even today, he, uh, he pays attention to them. He pays his attention to them. And he cares for them. He protects them. And he always, he doesn't slumber, but watches over us. And Jesus, even, even now, prays for us. Romans chapter 8, verse 26 tells us that. Even when our parents leave us, our fr friends, our children leave us, Jesus still stands by us. Only Jesus, only Jesus stands by us, mediating between God and us. How thankful are we? Why did Jesus stay behind? Because of his work of redemption, atonement, he realized, he said, I should not leave him. Even in the, these mankind that are so foolish, so dumb, there are many smart people in this world. There's people who are handsomer and uglier, and even in a family, uh, the, uh, the handsomer or, or a smarter kid gets more honor, gets more recognized. But Jesus stays with those smart people or... Uh, Stupid, stupid, dumber people the same way. Romans chapter 3 verse 24. Jesus is the Lord of atonement for all mankind. And Matthew chapter 27 28. And He rose up again for all of us. Only Je Jesus is the only way. Without going through Jesus, we cannot go to the Father. Only Jesus' words are the is the word of truth. There's no deception. There's no. It is perfect. It is complete. And Jesus is the only life. Only Jesus is life. Those who believe in Jesus will receive eternal life, life without death. And the covenant between God and mankind. Do you know what that is? Only one. There is only one covenant. If you believe in my son, Jesus, I will give you eternal life. The covenant between God and us, there is one covenant. God says, if you love my son, Jesus, and believe him, I will give you eternal life. This is written in 1 John chapter 2, verse 25. Clearly written there. Eternal life. Only Jesus is light. Everything else is dark. Only uh, the family, individuals, work, business that have left Jesus are dark, pitch dark. Don't believe in a person. Don't believe in the pastor. Don't believe in the elder, elders, a deacon. Only believe in Jesus. Only. Jesus is alive. Jesus is Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8. Jesus is the same in Malachi chapter 3 verse 6. Jesus doesn't even have a shadow that around him. And in the world, when people go up in level and in position, they kiss up to them. But Jesus goes to the poor, the, the outcasts, the orphans, the widows and widowers. He does not change. He's the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And Jesus is the only purpose of our lives. If you lose Jesus, everything's fake. Nothing will work. Nothing will go together. If you don't have Jesus, you will be holding back. You'll be grudging when you give. You won't give offerings. And you'll do other things, unnecessary things. And so Jesus becomes our only purpose of life.
And Jesus is our hope. And Jesus is the method of our lives. There is no way, there is no method in our lives when we don't believe in Jesus. And so, the only, Jesus' name is the only name. Acts chapter 4 verse 12 tells us that His name is the only name of salvation. He is a mediator between God and us. And even if God says, hey, that pastor in Pyeongnong Church, he has lustful heart, that elders, and but Jesus says, God, Father, I will be responsible for them. I will fix them. Oh yeah? And so Jesus becomes a mediator between God and us as a representative of all the sinful mankind. He speaks for us. Galatians chapter 3, verse 20. 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 5. And Hebrews chapter 8 verses 6, verse 6 and chapter 9 verse 15 tells us that he, the only mediator between God and people is Jesus. And that's why we have to believe in Jesus. The people leave Pyongyang Church because they don't like the church. But they have to still believe in Jesus even if they go to other churches. When they, when they believe in Jesus, they will, have to, they will end up coming back to Pyongyang Church. Why waste time coming back and forth? Stay in Pyongyang Church. And so, Jesus is the only good news given to all nations. Luke chapter... Luke chapter 2 tells us when He comes and... And how great it is to have Jesus in our families. You're so ugly, but when I put on the spectacles of, of Jesus, you, you look so beautiful. When you believe in Jesus, you can, you, can go, you can go into prestigious colleges as you want, only through Jesus. Only Jesus has to remain in, our, in the field of our lives, and only Jesus needs to be proclaimed in our lives. And that's why Apostle Paul said, Whether I live or die, only Jesus. Galatians chapter 6 verse 14, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 2 and the following. Apostle Paul said, I decided to know nothing but Jesus. I will only love the cross of Jesus. And Apostle Paul only believed in Jesus, only Jesus, only cared for Jesus. 1 John chapter 2, verse 17. It says, All things pass away, but only those who believe in Jesus will remain. 1 Peter chapter 1, or two, chapter 1 or chapter 2, verse 25 and the following. And our health, our strength, they all pass away. Our wealth, we don't know when they will pass away. But only Jesus. Have only Jesus in your center, in your family, in your life. Well, as long as you have Jesus in your, in the, as the center of your life, nothing will pass away. He will keep you, protect you. Please believe that. And that's why we have to believe well. I'd like to draw a conclusion now. Year 2006, we have come into the season of harvest and setting our settling our accounts. We cannot hold on to everything. Soon there, the frost will come, fall, fall down. And so we made our vows, we made our promises and prayers in the beginning of the year. Did we live accordingly? Making vows we need to keep even though it might harm us. No one can stop the flow of the seasons. We cannot hold it down. Apostle Paul said in 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 31, the traces of this world will flow away, will pass away. Even, even most beautiful talents or actors even people of power, 20, 30 years later, they become wrinkly. 
Oh, the the roof fall, fly roof flies away. In other words, the hair falls away. And two two legs become three legs, including the staff, the cane that they're holding on to. And the the time, the life, even if, even if we say, go a little slower, but time does not even look back. It just flows away, passes away. And so, the time, only the time that we lived for Jesus, the well, the money, the, the health that we spent for Jesus will remain permanently. Please believe that. Not being able to evangelize for the church. The, the, the time that you have spent for evangelizing, the tears that you have shed for your friends and for praying for others, they will not be consumed away. They will be kept by Jesus. The poor man that was on the street, when you gi that was Jesus that you passed by. Can you, can you just give them one dollar? How can you buy food with one dollar? You cannot buy a meal with one dollar. If you believe that that is Jesus that you just passed by, how can you give just one dollar? The Bible tells us, Jesus said, when I was po hungry, when I was po cold, when I was poor, when I was sick, did you come and visit me? And the disciples said, How, when were you like that? And Jesus said, what you did not do to the little one, you did not do to me. And that's why I tell the elders that, that are by me, go back and give them more. At least five dollars. You need to have at least five dollars to buy food, buy a meal. Even, even if you just buy Chinese noodles. And so when you give, don't, don't feel like you're wasting money away. The Bible says to treat them as you would treat God. And ever, ever since I received the word and realized the word and from Chidi Mountain, I don't try to pass them by. I try to give my best in all of all aspects of my life. And the conclusion is only they saw no one except Jesus himself alone. Only Jesus remained. Same thing with the end of this year. Only Jesus has to remain. Even even at the church if we don't do the work for God, if we don't give for to the society we will we will be at the end of the year we will regret but we still have some time left and we can do it just do it he is the only one who has power he is the king of all kings lord of all lords and only he has the eternal life he is in the midst of light that we cannot come close to and when, it, when the time comes, we will see Him come. First Timothy chapter 6, verses 15 and 16 tells us, Only Jesus will remain to the end. And so, when we believe in Jesus, He will help us to remain too, along with Him. And He will give us the hidden grace. And, but in the end, He will open it up, and He will give it to all those who seek Him, only uh, those who follow Jesus to the end to those individuals, families, and to the church. I believe that He will give it to us. And He said, and please forgive me, but repeat after me. This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. P listen to Him. Until today, as we lived our lives, if we looked down upon the Word of Jesus, if we put the Bible on the side and, didn't, and only followed our own knowledge, our own methods in our lives, if you have done that before this year passes by, please remember this. Listen to Him only. And may we be able to say, God, yes, I, until I go to heaven, I will only serve Jesus. I will live, our li live my life so that only Jesus remains. Only Jesus is seen in my life. And in reading the Bible, in serving at the church, help me to serve only Jesus. 
And that way we will never perish, but the blessings of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob will, give, will be poured out to us in heaven and on this earth. Please repeat after me. We will receive the blessings of thousands and ten thousands. Psalm 114 tells us that. Thousands and tens of thousands. Choir members, you have... How much asset do you have? How much wealth do you have? Multiply that by a thousand. Or thousands times thousands. Even if you graduate from college, it, it's hard to calculate that. And let's say you have $300,000. Multiply that by 1,000. And then again multiply that by 1,000 and 10,000. And please believe that God will give you that much blessing. And don't tell your children to go out and die because they cause so much trouble. But believe and pray that he will be well. Just say the opposite if, if you hate them so much. Say that you, they will be successful. They will be blessed. And if you, if you want to be blessed, if you want to show only Jesus, come. Yochu. Uh, Yoju said opposite way is Juyo, which, uh, which is, um, which also sounds like Lord, O oh Lord, means Juyo. And saying that opposite, the, the uh, back, backwards, is, it is Yoju. And so if you want to be blessed, come and serve at Yoju. And only Lord, as a result of the result of offering, the result of serving, only the Lord, only by the grace of the Lord. It is not I who did it, but it is by the grace of God. I give what I have received from God. And so may, we have, may you all have that kind of attitude and faith so that you may receive awesome blessings. Let us pray. God, thank you. Peter, John, and James up at the Mount of Transfiguration. So Moses and Elijah, as the Lord was conversing with them about his death for the redemption of all mankind. And but Moses disappeared, Elijah disappeared, and only Jesus remained. And as they confessed that, may all of our lives, for the rest of our lives, May we live our lives to have only Jesus remaining in our lives. Help us to believe only in Jesus. Please bless each and every family that they may receive your great blessings. May they only believe in Jesus. May they only have Jesus. And may our businesses only have Jesus remaining. Those who are sick, those who are in great temptation and great trials, those who are right before death. There are many of them. I command in the name of Jesus of Nazareth, may all the sicknesses, may they be released and liberated from all sicknesses. Only, may only Jesus remain. Those who are in trials, those who are in hard situations, may all darkness be cast out in the name of Jesus. I, we seek sincerely, sincerely. Please forgive us, Lord, for not being able to live according to your word. But now help us to live, believe, and follow only the word of Jesus. And please bless us, believing that you will answer all our prayers according to our prayers. We pray all these things in the holy name of our Jesus Christ, with thanksgiving. Amen. Thank you.